So let's get this cut open. Let's keep it moving. Now, uh, nicely packaged up. I don't hear any harps rattling around. That's always awesome when makers send harps and they're not rattling around. I hate to have a box and hear hop, harps just jangling around. And we're live on Facebook and we're pre-recording for YouTube. Let's get this box cut open. Hey, welcome to the unboxing. Got the Munahapa. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Munhapa, Munahapa. Here we go. I'm not the nicest when I unbox things. Yo, yo. Hit the other wall. Nice distance. Twice in a row. Must be my dad. Here we have packaging. And if you order hard for me, you'll probably get some of this packaging recycled back. I don't like to buy new things. I like to reuse things. Oh. Didn't get good distance on that one. Let's bring the mic a bit closer so you can hear me breathing. Yeah, my nose doesn't work well. Here we are. Exciting day, I got the mama hop in. And they are oiled, per my request. I don't know what type of oil they use. Ballastol oil, maybe. And you see a big looped, recurved trigger. I don't know if you can pick that up on the big camera. Big, kind of artistic recurve trigger. And I see there's a little bit of solder on there. Maker's mark on the back. The gaps are... The oil off there. The gaps are tight, I would say. Yes, the gaps are tight all the way down. Don't know what tuning this is. Here we go. Hey, we can do this. Try again, Munhop unboxing. All right, here we go again. We ran into some, some difficulties. I asked the maker to protect them against rust and Babayev protected them ridiculously against rust. They were coated with some type of wax or oil that I couldn't even, even get off there, but I got them all cleaned up. Let's give it a listen to the sound. We got two Ds, one D sharp, one E, and one little A. Take a look at this wicked looking recurve trigger. Look like something out of like a Tim Burton movie. Good, good bell ring. Now let's, let's bring the microphone a bit closer. Good bell ring out of this one here. so much better now that I got that that wax that wax was stuck in between there and it ke kept weighing down the reed not letting it move freely that D is gnarly a D a D2 as well a bit longer but with a bit different timbre Munharp moves now that we got the wax off them. Sometimes you get what you ask for and a little bit of extra. D sharp here. These hearts, when you get them warmed up and get them moving, they really open up. Porky Miller, you came back, yeah. I had asked uh, Baba Yev, I'm like, please, please, please protect him against rust. He put like a wax on there, I couldn't get off. I've been fighting and fighting. Check out these Ds, dude. Check out the D. Oh, <laughs> they're probably gonna demonetize the YouTube uh, video because I did a joke. No joking during the unboxing. And they really, really open up. And these, these triggers, look at this trigger. It's, it's wicked recurved. Like something from a Tim Burton movie. I'm repeating myself again. Okay, we got two Ds. 
the one E flat or D sharp, uh, the musical musical people say E flat, uh, I call it D sharp. Very, very musical. I am impressed, but it is it is Babayev. So, anyways, we have a D, we have an E as well. A little bit stiffer of a consistency. These these other three, the the reeds felt really buttery, really smooth. This is a stiffer reed, which is good because I've been getting into really stiff reeds as of late. Ooh, playing it up on the palate with the tongue close to the palate. This one's really starting to sparkle. I've never done that before. That's a gnarly noise. I've never, I just came up with a technique I've never done before. That was weird. That was like really phlegmy, like right at the back of the throat. Then we have one in A, a little teeny, teeny feller. Mm. <laughs> I like that little, little, that little guy there. Not as loud as some of the other ones, that's to be expected, but very, very musical. Let's just go ahead and we'll do a comparison to a, yeah, what you said, Porky. Porky Miller. Let's do a comparison to like a Zvitowski Munahab. Much, much different trigger shapes we see in this. Still recurve, but this one has, looks like something from a fairy tale. Yeah, listen on this. This ain't gonna be a very fair comparison because the Zvitowski, Zvitowski is cold, but the, the Zvitowski, I can't even say it. The Zvitowski are a whole lot more affordable from a Munahab. Baba ever not affordable. And I should compare D's to D's. This is a D, this is also a D. Much, much clearer bell ring. A little bit of fuzz. Not quite as responsive to breath, but our gaps are just, there's a pretty big I don't know if you can, can't get the camera to pick it up. There's a pretty big difference. These bat gaps, if you're very far away, they're pretty much, it looks like just one solid piece of metal. Yeah, the bad they ever like driving a, driving a sports car. Oh yeah, those are A plus, and thank you uh, to Dima Babayev. I think his last name is Babayev, but thank you Dima for protecting them so nicely. You protected them so well. I couldn't even play them right off the bat. I had to heat it, heat them up under some warm water and really run my thumbnail along there to get that wax off there, dry them off, dry them off, oil them back up, and yes, it's fantastic mud hop. Very very pleased. <laughs> Hmm, that D sharp. I've got I've got lots of D sharp harps now because I love D sharp's one of my favorite tunings. Very, very musical mun harp. Anyways, much better the second time around. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. Harp out. We're gonna play us out with this little fella here, and then I'm gonna oil them up, put them away. If you're interested in them, hit me up, shoot me a message on the harpery. Uh, Baba Yav Munha, we'll play this little one here. Mm.
Thank you.